Hey, what's up folks? This is Jean-Claude with Detail Designs Auto Spa and I have the latest version of Modesta BC05 here. Why do we have a latest version of BC05? Well, there was nothing inherently wrong with the first version, but because Modesta was able to separate some of the components in a way that just before it's applied to a car, and in this case with the BC05, we're going to be applying it to this 2020 M5 competition. Uh, what they wanted us to be able to do was to have a product that was even better. Yeah, I, I get it. Any product that's updated is an improvement. This was not an improvement that was done to cut products back, to reduce cost. It was purely for performance as well as stability. Uh, by having too much, well, we won't say too much. What I'll say is by separating some of the components out, they were able to increase the volume of some of those components. Um, and when it was originally produced, and with Modesta, each bottle is hand produced to order. Modesta does not produce um, vast quantities of a product and then it sits on a shelf for a year as distributors all over the world purchase them, they are made to order for the distributors. So if Modesta actually had what's in these two bottles, in a single bottle, it would have a negative effect on the stability, the shelf life of the product. By having it in two bottles, Modesta was able to go to a, make modifications rather, that improved the performance. Uh, improved performance in this case results in a glossier surface, better chemical resistance. Now I will say improved scratch resistance, but as with all coatings, that's very relative. So when I say scratch resistance and an improvement in scratch resistance, please don't take that to mean scratch proof or scratch proofedness. Anyways, uh, I'm going to bring you on in and show you the products. No, it's not uh, overly complex. It's literally you open the product, <laughs> pour them together, mix it, and then it's ready to go on. And it needs to be done immediately. This is not one of those things where once it's mixed, you can bottle it up, save it for another project. It needs to get used immediately. Um, so while that does create some logistical, well, I'll put it this way, as a small business owner, that doesn't by itself make a product more appealing to me from a pure business standpoint on the side that, hey, you get one shot basically, you get one day to use this product. But I do really appreciate the fact, the reason it was done was to create a better product uh, the fact we get one shot, that really falls on us. It doesn't fall on our customers, and our customers end up with a better job anyway. So we'll go on and get these opened, mixed up, and then get started on putting them, I say them, putting the BC05 on the M5 competition. I could be wrong, but I do not believe there's another product available that has this approach to being able to create the best coating possible. Which I think is pretty cool. Hey, you know, it's, it's marketing, so it's good for business like that, right? But really the bottom line is I like the fact it creates a better product and we have installed this version of BC05 on a number of projects since it's been released. It's been out for, I think it's, what is it, about a year? Yeah, it's been about a year since it's been released and we absolutely adore it. So well, what I'm going to do is go ahead and we're gonna get this installed on the M5, and if I have a shot at recording some of it and sharing it, cool. If not, you're gonna have to use your imagination, but you've probably seen videos of coatings being applied. 
uh, the fact it's a two part and now a one part uh, doesn't make it that much more interesting for the actual application. But I just wanted to share it with my viewers as well as anybody that may be searching for the product. Um, I adore the latest version. I'm not just saying that, but I really do like it. Um, I do like the fact that, quite frankly, it has a better shelf life now as a two-part. So I can order it, and if I don't use it that same week, I'm not having to sweat the fact that, hey, it's got X, not that it would go bad in a week, but use your imagination. In business, sometimes something can happen and you have a product for longer. The best way to tell if the product has spoiled yet or not, and Modesta does this intentionally, is they leave a gap in the label here and you can hold it up to the light and see that the product is still crystal clear. Um, tell you what, give me one second and I'll show you an example of a product uh, once it has spoiled. Um, tell you what, hang there for one second Pablo. Um, I'll keep talking but what it is is um, products, like it or not, they do have a shelf life. And some of these products, because of how they work, uh, they can be very sensitive to humidity. Uh, in this case, Modesta BC06 is one of those products that are very sensitive to humidity. And if you look at this, yeah, go on and turn it this way, Pablo. Come on in. Can you see that? Are you looking at this part? Do I have it angled correctly? So do you see how that's cloudy? The rest of that bottle, I cannot use it. Now that doesn't mean that the product is faulty, but this is not used on just one project. This is used on many sets of wheels and every time it's opened and you pour it in a sprayer and then you put the cap back on. As you work through the product, you're allowing a larger volume of moist air to get in there. So um, I keep this more as a demonstration. We have another bottle over here. I'm, I'm just keeping this as a demonstration. But these are some of the solids that have already basically activated. They've already become uh, solids within the coating and we can't use it. Uh, it's a cost of doing business. It's calculated into what we charge for, say, a Modesta BC06 project because the bottle is so large. Um, and it's, it is quite costly for that single bottle, but it does pay for itself over the jobs that we do with that bottle. But um, we anticipate as we get to the bottom of the bottle, there's a chance that we're not going to be able to use that full bottle before this happens. Now sometimes, really most of the time in my experience, this happens when somebody opens it, they pour it in the spray gun, they sit it down just like this, they walk off, bless their hearts, they walk off, they do the, the coating job on the wheels, on the calipers, and they come back some unspecified time later and then they put it on and when that happens somebody else just walked in I'm not winking at you sorry when that happens uh, you are setting it on a pace to have this happen before you work through the bottle so uh, I don't mean to slight Modesta and the fact I don't think that's what it is but in context this is just raw data I'm sharing with the public in that we do have a shelf life. We do have nuances that dictate when we can't use products anymore. And that is why Modesta has specifically left this gap so that we can hold up any bottle, even a brand new fresh bottle. We can hold it up and we can see has any of that product spoiled yet. So I wasn't really planning on getting into all this, but I did. Um, knowledge is power. Have at it. Anyways, we'll see you guys around. Thanks for watching.